Hello and welcome to Florian Models tool review time again. We've got some down in here cutting tools. So this is the latest ones from uh, Dispay uh, that Rebecca have given me to have a look at. And I thought we'd have a look. Some of these we might have covered in other videos, definitely some of them we haven't. So what we've got down in here is a very posh knife, a cheaper knife. We've got a saw, a selection of blades for it, and we've actually got some replacement blades as well. So starting off with the one that we do know about, because we've seen this, if you've seen the starter set, review you'll know about this one this is going to be you get a set of hopefully there isn't that replacement blades and we've got the knife in here as well it does come with it as i say i've already done a small review on this one so if you want to go off you can see it but what you have got is a really nice knife short blade nice stubby blade great for getting in uh, you know cleaning up small parts things like that as well it's great for cutting around masks and stuff so if you've masked up your clear parts and you need to get in there i think it's just a lot easier than a long blade i'm a massive fan of these and until this one's turned up to be honest with you i've been using a normal sort of you know uh, holder with a short blade in it anyway all right so again we've got those that's quite nice because obviously you do get in there a set of replacement blades and if it's like the others you get around about 20. all right so if i get into it there we go which i think there is around about 20 replacement blades in here so again keep you going forever generally though i actually really really like it ergonomics of holding it with a rubber tip and stuff like that i really really like that one so again this is uh, your part number for this one is pt dk again so this is they seem to be doing a budget range of knives now and then obviously they're doing a more deluxe one i think one of the sort of things people mention about display is some of the cost of their items they're very expensive but it is good stuff to be honest with you so this one here we got the dk1 and this one is again we've got another set of blades in there as well all right so you don't need too many tons of them and then in here we've got as you can see that's what you would expect to be honest that lovely anodized look it's got display written on it it's metal you know really really nice and again this doesn't have the rubber sleeve onto it but it is the same blade system right the way through so really what you got here is a very very posh knife you know and it's a knife holder with the blades down in there again exactly the same as probably most of them as you know this back part unscrews then it comes out and this one you've actually got a standard way that they do it. instead of having like that chuck and collet effect this one you have a blade that lies in there like that and then this one goes on the top you've got a little hole down in there and they line up on the outside you can pop that in and then off you go all right so again pulls it in nice and tight holds that into position you go there is a little length on the blade you can actually sink it a little bit further down or you can pull it up a little bit down in there and again you've got a situation where this will go on the back so if you do need really nice gripper things you can do that but it's quite a long handle on this i don't think you really need anything else it's got a nice cover downside to this one though because of you know me like to do positives and negatives this is going to roll off and land in your lap so uh, you might want to put something like i don't know kevlar pants on or shorts on because if this lands in your lap you're going to know about it the nice thing like i said in the last review i like these ones which don't roll because you know unless it's got some momentum this will just not roll where obviously if you're doing both of these yeah this one's going to keep going and could land in your lap to be honest with you as a lot of you know i'm quite a good fan of these ones and this is the main reason one it's got a short stubby blade or i can have a long one if i want it but mainly when i drop it it doesn't land in my lap you know as i say when you've been doing this as long as i have we've all stabbed ourselves haven't we all right so again really nice replacement blades it's not too bad on the price of the replacement blades and all the rest of it and again a really nice piece of kit so very nice with that over here we've got the saw so on here we've got this little saw looks very nice as well all right so your part number for this one is it's an at dash hw all right get down in here and then again we are glued and again this is what you are not being funny you're paying for a certain amount of luxury with this one and you have got a really nice piece of kit here so again, it looks really very, very nice indeed. So we pull it out and literally you've got, as you can see, a situation, get it the right way around. There we go, it locks in and it gives you a very, very nice knife. 
Now this is very fine blade in here, and this has got the fine blade in it, as you can see, as it says so. All right, and actually that looks very nice indeed. You've got a couple of screws, obviously you're going to loosen them out and you can change them over. So that's very nice indeed. All right, so we've got that. You also can get a replacement blade sets for them. So again, in here, we've got this nice little envelope. You've got two in here. These are coated in plastic, little thing to keep them nice and straight. But you've got another fine blade. And then obviously you've got more of a sort of chop saw blade. Again, really very, very nice with these. So your number for this one is HW02. You've also got, which are the fine set, we've got here HW01 is the ultra fine set. So again, really nice with these ones. You can go through and you've got ultra fine. And again, they look very, very fine because to be honest, I can hardly see any teeth in that. So very nice indeed. But I like this blades. It's there's no point in having them too thin. I'm not a massive fan of the photo etch ones because as you might remember, when I was working on the Harrier, I ended up bending them completely all the time. And I can show you case in point because she's here now. When we were coming around with this and we opened up all of these little doors. What I ended up doing literally is just coming in with a saw and chopping down. So we actually just came down and we came down this way. This saw would be great for it because I can physically get in there. So we can just carve down, go down, back and forth into it. It's got a really nice thicker blade. The trouble I had, I was using the photo etch ones and I kept bending them. And when you know it's like when they're bent, they've sort of had it again. But putting these in, cutting these in to open up these, that's what we used it for. But a good quality razor saw is an absolute must. It's nice, it's got a nice top on it, so you can get your thumb at the top for a bit more control. You can hold it a little bit like a pen if you needed to. And again, just for general sort of sawing actions and chopping, it's got a good, decent handle on it. And again, what's really nice is we can flip it round and we can, come in correctly, we can lock it away and protect that blade as well. So again, that's a very, very nice touch with it. So again, you've got the actual if you wanted to get a little set of them you can do it literally just like this and you're good to go so again some really really nice stuff with these it's one of those things it's like you never know if you need a good knife until you haven't got one you know so again it's quite nice you've got replacement blades and all the bits and pieces if we pop these down so again you can go off and get these uh, from Proveco over in the Netherlands uh, they're the European importer for this stuff. So if you want to get anything from them, you can do. But again, I think they're really, really nice. And if you're a little bit of a tool hoard like me, you like this type of stuff because it's really nice in the red. I've got a lot of it here that I've collected over the years. And it is good, solid equipment. But there's a lot to be said about the cheaper range. Again, because it's just got a nice ergonomic handle on it. I think it just works really, really well. Short blades and all the rest of it. And it's not going to roll off the desk and land in your lap as well. So generally, I think they are pretty much very nice indeed.